Welcome back. It's time for Cammie's favorite things. We alluded to it earlier mm -hmm, at the did. top of the show that yeah. Cammie would be making one of our favorite snacks because right. it reminds us of like Branson and the holiday season. Yeah, it does. Cammie. It's definitely holiday season. It is. Candied pecans. Yes. So, and they're delicious anywhere, but they're so easy to make. And I'm kind of like one of those people that if I can make it, I don't want to buy it because exactly. I know what goes in it this way and you can get it straight out of the oven, eat them warm. Oh, I love uh, that. Too. And it makes your yeah. house smell really good. Good. Exactly. Good yes. It does. So I serve these around Thanksgiving and yeah. Christmas every year. So Cammie, we won't lie to you. We've had a lot of sugar already. <laughs> we really have. We may be mm. bouncing off the walls yeah, I by think the so. end of this. Yeah. I know you have. So Whoa. we're going to bake it. You can eat some later. Okay. okay. So we're going to put some wet ingredients in this big bowl first, and okay. then we'll put our dry ingredients separate. Okay. Okay. So, first of all, just an egg white. Oh, oh an egg white. Egg Why? Egg white. Okay. And this is the pressure oh. of live TV, too. I'm going to yeah. need um, a rag. Do okay, we? oh, we'll, yeah. get, we'll get one. Hey, Kaylee Custer's over yeah. there. Can you use the, one of the rags? Because now my hands are filthy. <laughs> well, I can help you also. Okay, so okay, and, while I'm, while oh, I'm taking here. care of that, we're going to add in one tablespoon of water. Just a tablespoon Can't, of water. And it's okay. already. Do you need that later? No. Oh, okay. okay. There we go. There we go. Tablespoon of water, pre measured. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Pre eyeballed. <laughs> Here, I can help you, Kim. Okay. Your hands so are then do one teaspoon of vanilla. There you go. Teaspoon. Thank you, ma'am. Kelly, is that a teaspoon? This can is. I have that one? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay. So then we're going to just mix all of these wet ingredients together, and then we're going to dump in about four cups of pecans. There's no perfection to the exact measurements, you know? It doesn't really matter if you get a little too much goo on these or not. So. Okay. So we're going to dump in all these pecans. Go ahead, tell you do Oh, oh I'm going to dump the pecans mm -hmm. in. Okay. So I think this is about four cups between that and The whole thing. This. All right. Love it. Yeah. So even, the egg is acting as like the binder yes. to get it? I believe so. Okay, yeah. That's yeah, what I would yeah. think. So it's going to stick to it, and then we're going to put our dry ingredients oh, okay. and then dump okay. them on top. Yeah, can I stir ahead. this? Go ahead okay. and stir that. Kelly, you do the dry ingredients? So, yes. So we have one cup of sugar, which actually pre-measured. Oh, it's already there. Right there. Look at you. You even have your name on your top of because this is this is stuff you don't want to lose. Well, that's because my husband will take it to work and oh. never bring it back. You know, okay. it's mine. Bring it yeah. back. One cup. Okay. So then a half teaspoon of salt. There we go. Okay. Half teaspoon. Okay. Yes. So this is going to stick in here. Yes. Stir that really. Really good. I know. I'm trying to get them all coated. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then one teaspoon of cinnamon. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Yes. Okay. Coat. And if you get a little bit too much, oh, it's yeah. okay. It's totally Can we do a little cool. bit of a heaping? Is that okay? Oh, that's with you? great. Okay, cool. That's great. Now, mix that up. Stir, stir that up. Okay. And it's literally that easy. So. Oh, I dropped a pecan. Sorry. Oh. I flung oh, no. it. I was trying to coat worse. it. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to coat it and I flung yeah. it. Yeah. So now we're just going to put those two things together, pour those dry ingredients over the pecans. Okay. And we'll give them a good mix. Keep a stern, dear. Oh, Keep a stern. There, there you go. If you like other, you know, things like cloves or like you know, oh, pumpkin pie, pie spice, yes, yes. Egg, you could totally add whatever in here you like. You there know, you go. this is that is a great basic idea, Cammy. Recipe that here, is. so. Yeah. I would add some clove, maybe a little nutmeg, and yes. a little um, pumpkin pie spice. Yes. Yeah. All the above. It's so, all spice. Uh, is that what does that taste like? Allspice. Oh, I love it, allspice. Isn't that kind of a it does. Christmassy kind of a mix, it's don't you think? Christmassy, yeah. It does. I love so, uh, five spice here in Springfield, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would take sushi any day. So. <laughs> now, all you have to do is take a big baking sheet, spray it down with Pam. Okay, so then you bake it at 300 degrees mm. for 20 minutes. Okay. Take it out, you stir it up, and then you change your temperature to oh, 250 you. and bake for another 30 minutes. Okay. And Can you repeat it. that one more time? Okay. I was washing my hands. So, <laughs> 300 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay. 300 for 20. Stir it up because okay. you don't want it to get all. Yeah. You know, yeah. Bake and then another 30 minutes at 250. So, okay. 300. 250. Okay. okay. 20 minutes, 30 minutes. That's great. And then okay. I would eat these straight out of the oven. I would eat them just That's like that. How, well, yeah. And That's here right. they are. Look at these. Ooh. Dig in. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. That says Perfect. holidays to me. I could not stop with those. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know what? My family's coming up for Thanksgiving from mm -hmm. Dallas. I think I'm going to make these for them. You should. You, you should. Just how easy it is. Because it's so easy and it's yeah. a great little. You could be nibbling on this while people are making dinner, like Thanksgiving mm -hmm. dinner, you know? I usually put this snack. in a bowl like this and just have it out or like even in a candy dish and then it's just there. That's we a great have idea. Lots of company for the holidays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you it's know, just 
If you had any extras of those, you could chop them up and put them in like a little cake or a, a coffee cake or something yes. like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. And could salad. You? You could, oh, you know? salad. Oh, yeah. That's great. Oh. What I was thinking of, too, some recipes call for like a graham cracker crust. Mm -hmm. What if you took oh. these, mashed them up, yeah. and made like a crust? Then you for, have a gluten-free you know? crust. I've had a... Um, gluten-free crust. Yes. Good idea. Uh, I've had a cheesecake made with... Now, I didn't candy them this way, but mm -hmm. I just chopped them up and put butter in them, and that was the crust. For the, the cheese. That's cake. a great idea. Mm -hmm. uh, and Kelly, wasn't it you who said at one point you take these and you put them over the top of vanilla ice cream? Oh gosh, yes. You oh, could do nuts anything. make it all better. Yeah. All better for yeah. sure. These are so good. I, have, I tell you, my sugar intake today is <laughs> off the the charts. You know what? I'm so thankful for that I do not have a nut allergy. Mm. Oh, I know. I mean it. They're my staple mm -hmm. go to. I love, I, I do too. I love peanuts. And like she said, gluten free. This is a great gluten free mm -hmm. crust yeah. idea. Good idea. Absolutely. Mm. You know, sometimes I even make strawberry pie with like a pretzel crust. Oh, yeah. Mm. Wouldn't that be good? Even just a that strawberry pie with mm -hmm. this? I mean, it's a good alternative. As this, as a crust. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, I mean, the possibilities are endless. Yeah, actually, they really with this. are. Mm, yeah. That's so, so good. That's why it's one of my favorite things. Oh, yes. My gosh. <laughs> Pammy, <laughs> did you, did you um, have, to, like, you've made this for years, you said, right? During mm -hmm. the holidays? Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I never would have even thought about making this because I've always just bought them. Yeah. Yes. So I didn't even think about the yeah. possibility of making it at yeah. home. Yeah, and it's easy. Well, sometimes when you buy oh. things, you have there's a little preserve or something in it that gives it like a funky taste. Yeah. Not always, mm -hmm. but sometimes. But mm -hmm. I got this recipe from my sister in law a few several years back, yeah. and I make it all the time now. Perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Quickly, we love too, it. I yes. forgot to tell you. Remember how we love Kami's fat bombs? Oh, yes. <laughs> and um, Nutrisystem or Nutri Nutrislim yeah, has, you know, them. that makes them now. Yeah. They have a new one now. It's a mint chocolate <gasps> fat bomb. Oh, seriously? Mint chocolate. It is amazing, by the way. I need to bring yeah. them in for yes. you to try. Yes, I love you love I do. I bought some after that because I was too lazy oh, to make my own. Sounds yeah. so good. They have new ones. I tried them. I no, thought I of you. I almost texted you at the grocery store. Like, <laughs> they have mint chocolate chip. Yeah. They, fat and bombs. they only have like one gram of sugar. Yeah, it's yeah. so it's really You great. will love these, Cammy. Yeah. You yeah. will love these. I'm They're definitely so going to try that. All right. Thank you, Cammy. Thanks, Cammy. We love this. We'll be back right after this. Don't go anywhere. I should have oh, texted you. I was at the grocery store and I saw them. I was like, Cammy! Cammy! So good. Yeah.